Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, talking about the San Francisco 49ers. In this one, talking about predictions for the offense, total rushing yards, total passing yards, total offense, all that cool stuff. Last year, they did a fantastic job in terms of the offense. Pretty underrated, in my opinion. I don't know. The defense gets all the love, but offensively, they were very potent. They were very effective, in my opinion. They did great. If you look at their statistics, they were number two in rushing, outside the top 10 in passing, and about number four in total offense, which was very impressive on their part considering that Jimmy G was making his first career start as a full season full-time quarterback the team was pretty inexperienced with all the shuffling pieces the only guy that was really consistent was George Kittle and there was a lot of uncertainty on the offense but yet they were able to pound to number four on the total offense rankings last year that's a good thing right there 2020 should bode really well for them so looking at players anything that's going to be a big factor in terms of what's going to make an effective offense for 2020 should be an interesting one before I get the video started as always please like and subscribe that's going to definitely help me a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos. Share the channel. Share this content with Fell Niner Faithfuls. Children's Miracle Network is over now. So thank you guys so much for donating if you did. And yeah, I'm going to be donating it to my local Costco, right? But this year in particular, they are not doing the balloon because of everything going on right now. So, but still, I mean, when you donate as much as you can, I think it's a great thing whether a balloon or not. But having a balloon would be nice, definitely. We're going to have to wait until 2021. But thank you guys so much. Let's get this video started. 49ers predictions for the offense 2020. As I mentioned, the statistics earlier just now in this video I'm going to be talking about hmm, what should I talk about first rushing offense I think that should be the most interesting one to be honest with you I think they can go number one in rushing offense I mean that's pretty good considering that they don't have a top rusher like a Saquon Barkley in New York Christian McCaffrey in Carolina these guys they're quote unquote a bunch of nobodies which a lot of people last year when I did edge to edge videos I always paired them up against like a really good really great running back like a Nick Chubb or Dalvin Cook but yet they always label us as nobodies for whatever reason 49ers they have a system and it works I'm totally on board with that and it's probably better to have a committee anyways because the guy if you're top rusher then if he gets hurt it's gonna ruin your offense a little bit but with the 49ers injuries they are a part of the game but everybody is able to contribute big time with their scheme that they run the zone rushing attack the blocking is amazing from the offensive line it's gonna be awesome I would not be surprised if they're number one in terms of rushing offense where he most would probably be the man to get all the yards but maybe Jared McKinnon he could be the guy as well in San Francisco he was intended to be the guy but he did get injured a while for the past couple of years ever since signing with the 49ers so he really hasn't played a game yet in the regular season anything happen and with the running back by committee you don't know who's gonna be the top rusher in each game it could be Coleman it could be him it could be Moster just anything can happen and that's what I love about this running attack also having a great offensive line helps I'd say number one in rushing offense but not outside the top three that's just me let's talk about the passing game this one's a little bit more tricky a little bit more irky in my opinion because they're doing a lot of shuffling with the wide receivers everybody's just dropping left and right they're trying to find wide receivers they're just signing anybody that they can I mean they signed Kevin White from Chicago which is like a death Desperate move, sort of not really, but I mean, to sign a guy that's been injury riddled for the past couple of years ever since he got drafted by them, it's a pretty sh shamble position right now. But I think they're very high on guys that they have if healthy. When you have Ayuk who can stay healthy if he can, Debo Samuel, Kendrick Bourne, Trent Taylor coming back. This is, could be a really good roster piece for Jimmy Garoppolo to work with. You also have George Kittle. He's part of the passing game as well. So that just really elevates your offense definitely. If we didn't have an elite tight end, then the offense would be kind of scary in my opinion. And I did not mean that in a good way. But if I'm looking at their passing thing, I can see them going maybe top 10. But I don't think they go top 5 this year unless Jimmy G makes that big growth from being just a good quarterback to an awesome quarterback, all pro quarterback. I see this offense really leaning towards the running game even more. And I don't know if Kyle Shanahan really trusts Jimmy G as much with the ball because of the turnovers. I'm going to be putting him around like number seven, number eight in terms of total offense for the passing game. That's a pretty reasonable prediction right there, unless Jimmy G just goes off this year. But when you have an elite running game, you don't really need to worry about passing too much. So that doesn't really bother me too much. But that would be nice if Jimmy G can make that big, awesome leap, which I think he can. We have to see the next couple of weeks to have a really good gauge on how he's doing as a passing quarterback but for me seven to eight passing game total offense for me if you talk about yards for the whole nfl season i don't know what to go with last year i think they averaged about 30 points a game which was very impressive on their part 
for me i would say about 27 28 this year i'm looking at it some factors defensively i think they can do a great job getting turnovers they can also probably score some pick sixes and recover fumbles for a touchdown that's another factor if i had to go with particular statistic i would probably say about number three or number four in terms of total offense i think it's going to be on par with everything that they did last year baltimore they're going to be a pretty effective offense we'll see how lamar does cowboys they were able to stat pat their stats whatever you want to call it dak prescott he didn't have the best year of his life with the the bad teams that they play he had an awesome year in terms of statistics on paper but the 49ers I think they become a very effective offense they stay around the part that they were in 2019 which is third and fourth in terms of total offense in terms of yards in general from yards to passing running all that cool stuff for me three to four lastly points per game I think that's the last one I have to go with and the same region I'd probably go 27 28 points a game and three and four nothing too crazy there can they be the top offense number one I would not be surprised at all but when you have a dominant defense and the offense can kind of just go in cruise control a little bit they don't really have to do too much but they do have to score points that's a big thing and I think a lot of teams with great defenses they don't have the best offenses out there but 49ers I think they're about perfect balance between a great defense and a great offense it's gonna get even better this year I have them about three or four in terms of NFL rankings this year in particular that's pretty much it you guys just wanted to talk about this real quick in summary you have Jimmy G you have a great running back by committee you have a wide receiver group that's a little bit scary I didn't mean that in a good way but they have potential and George Kittle I didn't even talk about the offensive line yet that's a pretty effective line as well Trent Williams I think he's just gonna whew, win bulldozer or any linebacker that there is on the other side that's what I have overall if I had to pick an overall overall ranking points everything like that I'd say third overall I think that's a pretty effective ranking for me in my opinion but if they go number one would not be surprised at all please let me know what you guys think about the 49ers offense how do you have them ranking in terms of total offense passing rushing points scored all that cool stuff please let me know in the comments below if you guys like this please like and subscribe that's gonna help you out a lot i'll be catching you guys up probably tomorrow when i talk about the defensive side of the ball i'll see y'all then bye guys love y'all y'all have a great rest of your night go niners all day